Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Lovecraft Forever, Natalia with you. And I am very actually excited today about this video review. Mm, this wonderful package arrived from Paint Some Way. Thank you very much uh, for supporting my channel and providing me with the product to review. Always highly appreciated. And this package is really surprised me, as you can see those canvases. Um, so, like mostly in here, product all for craft stitchers lovers, and I have a one diamond painting. But not too often I can find this kind of canvases, and this is just uh, I, I love it so much. So let me start probably. I will I will start with diamond painting. So just for in case you're not interested in cross stitch because it's a more product in here. Uh, then after diamond painting you can just leave and all those who love cross stitch or those who just like to stay with me, we will be continue because there's some cool product up there. Now, this is something very heavy, and I cannot remember actually. This is the only product I cannot pick up and see what on the inside. And I don't want to go to computer to Google a number to see, so let's just get surprised all together. And check it out what this is. All right. I cannot remember. I cannot re Oh, okay. Now I see it. That's another awesome, awesome abstract picture. The colors in here are so gorgeous. And this is a good size of the canvas. Now I work already on one of the um, abstract painting, but that painting more like a flowery uh, geometrical design. And this is just like a uh, acrylic or resin pour um, like lots of people created now this beautiful uh, art of pouring acrylic paint on uh, canvases so this is one of them okay let's see we have a two packs of tool in here this one have a more wax this one just the one but two tools with one painting that's a lot and this is around diamonds now look at this beauty isn't it gorgeous it's like a sky or maybe you can pretend that this is the water and like a sun sunset or sunrise <coughs> wavy <coughs> excuse me <coughs> It's so beautiful that I'm using, losing my voice, my friends. I did make a tea, but didn't have a chance to drink yet. <clears throat> I'm speechless because it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It can be good interior design for any house, any room. You can um, frame it this way. You can frame it this way. No. A, you know whatever f uh, space you have in your room maybe you have a thin wall that this would be good um, a vertical like you know this this way but it could this way it could be good this way so basically um, you can use any look there no matter how you turn it looks so beautiful but the way design printed on this canvas and symbols point it's this is the way that I'm showing you right now what a beauty design is 40 by 80 centimeters and we have 24 colors around diamonds I don't know would you like to see them or basically in here it's very subtle color so I'm not going to open this package because I'm sure there's nothing wrong with this diamonds and mostly in here you know gray and blues and a little bit uh, yellow and orange so <clears throat> I guess I'm not going to open there's some purples up there but 
this is absolutely stunning let me just <clears throat> okay i have to pass the pass video and drink a little bit hot tea i'm totally losing my voice all right let's try again i sip a little bit on the hot tea this mint hopefully it will get better okay i'm just trying to peek in here and see the glue glue is very sticky you can see it's grabbing my finger very good and i like barely touching it and um, a symbols in here very very good clarity i can show you a little bit more close just to see how gorgeous this canvas and how easy that would be a work on it look at this symbols sorry for the reflection of my camera but you can see that even like a darker spot the clarity is there uh, how about on some blue colors in here dark colors look at this you can see simple very very nice i don't even need a magnifier in here it's wonderful and i really love this kind i already have in my collection a uh, few of this uh, kind of pour on acrylic or resin kind of style of diamond paint and really like them so after i finish my other uh, abstract painting that I have not very big size uh, we will pick one of this one because they are amazing to me I really love them now my lovely diamond painters if you don't like cross stitch thank you for sticking with me this short time but if you like to see what I have in my cross stitch and I know that many many of you uh, message me on even private messages or comments on YouTube channel that my channel got you back into cross stitch and some of you trying for the first time cross stitch and you fell in love so uh, th that is a uh, music to my ears that my channel got you into the new hobby of yours and you like this stuff so let's continue with the cross stitch I have a few tools in here for accessories um, accessories tools I don't know uh, both I guess so the first one is this one let's see this one this is the masking tape masking tape that I wanted to review it says it's good to put on a cross stitch canvas if you want to write down something mark maybe uh, you want to write down on your canvas, um, for example, when you start in your project. You want to put date on it and stick somewhere to the corner of your canvas and see how fast you will stitch. Maybe you don't have a, a water uh, dissolvable uh, pen to mark it up your canvas and you want to find a center of your canvas if you work on a counted cross stitch. Uh, you can cut a little piece of this tape and just literally with any pen mark it up like crisscross make it x to point where's your center but um, we will test it out how this coming out of your canvas easy or not so we will test this as we open the other product now in here i believe it should be magnet i love magnets and because i have uh so many projects on a go i need to have like magnets a handy magnet for every canvas that way i don't have to borrow from another canvas you know from each other so i saw paint some way has a cute new magnets they are gorgeous very adorable let me show you this one this one is square uh, so far what I review for you it was uh, magnets that was like a longer one um, longer like this some of those like a teardrop with the smile face on it uh, some of them shape of the heart this one feels like sticky no? this one is totally different it's like acrylic you see the acrylic board stick to the whatever it looks like a plastic maybe print of paper on it and it says what it says spring so it's a company spring is it spring you know what 
I think it's exactly the same as we have a cross stitch later on, I will show you. But look at this bunny. How cute, it's a Christmas design. I think he's waiting for a Santa to arrive. That is cute, that is cute. And we have a here magnet that will hold and Oh, that, that's a, that's a good, oh, oh, did I just broke? It's a, look at this, it's a broken magnet, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's a broken magnet, but when I put, <laughs> now I have two pieces, oh, okay. Maybe company will lovely to resend the sticker because the magnet is broken. No, hold on. I have to put. Okay, now it's sticking. Why well, it's sticking on a top? I want this to connect with each other. Funny thing. Okay, so anyway, this piece is broken, unfortunately. Ay, 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 ay. Because it's so cute. Okay. That's a booba. So this one magnet is broken. Uh, I can I can try to fix it, but I guess I will use just uh, some extra magnet that they have. But even if I would use this little square that's left, it's still going to hold to my canvas. All right, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate because it's a very pretty. Okay. <clears throat> now let's get started with cross stitch because this one is adorable. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this cute ladybugs. I love it. First of all, I love. I love the design and I love that this is round. Look at that nice and shiny paper. I wonder if this is thicker or not. Sometimes I feel like this paper could be thicker. Okay, I I cannot tell you now, but this is a gorgeous design, isn't it? Love those bright ladybugs. <coughs> very colorful pattern uh, I see that it says 20 colors in here and have a DMC code very beautiful pattern but we don't need this pattern if this would be <coughs> <coughs> okay enjoy this picture let me sip uh, my tea right in here what is going on <coughs> I don't want to pause my video all the time. If this would be counted cross stitch, I would complain that this pattern printed on a very small squares of like symbols are very, very tiny. Yeah, the clarity is good, but it's very tiny squares to compare like to my fingers. Luckily, <coughs> I'm so sorry, my voice is just, I, I record already one video, before this I was totally fine. <coughs> but because this canvas is printed, we don't need the paper, we don't care about that paper, and we are happy with the canvas. Canvas is actually soft, it's still treated. It has some kind of stiffness, but you see how it's it's applicable kind of. You can hold it even in your hands, and um, this will be such a cute pillow. Um, this will be such a cute picture frame in kids maybe room. This could be created in a to the any like 3D project. I don't know even a treasure keeper box. I don't know. That is so pretty. I love those ladybugs and it's a daisy and daisy is my birth flower so yes I love even more um, and looks like the other flowers I don't know maybe it's a pansies and pansies my love my my mom loved this kind of flowers now what I see in here we have two needles 
I believe this is 11 count Ada. Two needles, white, white needles. How about tips? Oh, you know what? This is the, oh, I love these needles. This is my favorite type of needles. I don't know if my camera will show you or not, but the edges of this needle flat a little bit. You can see that. And that's the needle that I'm working. I hope it's going to be exactly the same one that I work in on my European town. And I absolutely love it because it never poke my fingers because it's not sharp. It's very, um, like, it's very, sm the way it's go through the canvas, it go very easy. I don't know. Let me just go. Yeah. See, like, it's go very smoothly through the canvas. So definitely, this is my another favorite two needles. I don't have too many of them. I think I have only one of this kind of needle and I'm trying to sometimes even borrow from my European town to stitch on the other one. Now I have a two extra. Love this needle. So if you don't even like to stitch an 11 count, you just, you, ah, oh, I love it. Love, love this needles. And design is just super gorgeous. I don't know how about you, but I love it. And look, this is the, so what we have, uh, hold on, 20 colors. Okay, so 20 colors here is kind of like a white and kind of cream, two different colors, I think. Uh, from far, a little bit, maybe better visible that uh, this is a little bit darker shade. In here, colorful, lots of black. It doesn't, it seems like it's, a, oh no, there's some, like, um, yeah, okay, I can see that. There's lots of those big spots that we see yellow. That's the old, the black color for those dots. And, huh, okay, just a minute. Three. So the ladybugs, okay, three, three. Okay, so that's the ladybugs, the head, that's where the black, okay, okay, I thought it's kind of like a background, no, the background is green and that's the pink color would be for the background, okay, so there, look how bright those ladybugs will be with this red colors, oh, look, it's beautiful, two purple shades, very nice. Uh, threads itself also kind of like a silky feel even black feels really silky so it will layer very very nice I think for this kind of threads you will not need wax them because I believe they will layer very nicely okay that is amazing now what we are going to do with this uh, we will test this out we will test this tape on this canvas. I will cut a little piece, just a little piece strip. We want to see if this will be easy to come out from canvas. Let's say you don't have your um, water dissolvable pen and you using a canvas that is counted and maybe you want to use, you know, you can use a Sharpie. You cannot use Sharpie on a canvas because you never will wash it out. But you can definitely mark it up some little X, for example. You know, doesn't go through, but it's visible. And let's just stick them, well, right in here. If it's thick and not coming out, then I'm in trouble. But there let's say you're working on you found your center which is totally not center but ignore that <laughs> ignore that uh you want to write down maybe like uh, put somewhere like on a very very edge date when you start in your diamond paint and that would be awesome and now let's see if this will be easy to peel away oh yeah look how nice and easy um how about 
we will test this masking tape. What if you are a book reader and you want to write down notes somewhere on a book? So this one, if it's stuck, it's stuck. It's going to be on a garbage anyway. It's an instructions. There's some important stitches in here, how to create different kind of stitches. Uh, so keep this if you don't know how it's made, right? But I want to try just for example, if I'm reading a book, like Catherine likes to read lots of books. She actually really sick today. So uh, keep her in your heart and send her some healing prayers. She has a cough and her throat sore. So she read in the books, lots of books. And if you can put on a book, you can see that you still can read through. Maybe you want to outline some um, uh, some quote. Maybe you want to save it for later to use for some of your project. And you don't want to mark it up on a paper. Uh, so you put masking tape right down or underline this marker on the top of this tape and let's see if it's going to come out or not. That's the most important thing. Okay, see it came out very nice. Uh, I don't have any ink or letters transport to this tape did not have any damage on the paper either but this is kind of like a silky paper uh, you could try somewhere else I don't know where else can I try on a, some kind of paper um, I don't think I have in here well no well I think it would be okay well I thought I have a paper okay you know what I have a paper Catherine's report card. I will stick in here just like that. Because this is printed paper, so it would be something sim similar uh, consistency to a book. Oh wow. Okay, from this one it's coming out even easier than from this one. So definitely you can use in many uses this masking tape. And that's what my concern was. If it's easy, it will be to peel. But from it belong assess for the canvases so this one is coming out super easy all right that's make me happy what can i say um definitely recommend okay this one mm, magnet crushed very thin maybe i would recommend to company to put a little bit thicker magnets not as thin okay <clears throat> gorgeous it's another plus and now i have two more very pretty projects let me show you because i'm very excited my friends this is the company spring and it's actually when i see this magnet it says exactly same thing you see in here if it's kind of like not very visible uh, because it's an interest. Oh, hold well on. Maybe it's a sticky. Oh, I just got the idea. Maybe I have to peel it. You know how sometimes we have this acrylic 3D design and we're supposed to peel layer to reveal the shiny spot. Since I already crushed magnet, I can see this hopefully. Oh, I think it is. Just a minute. Just a minute. I think it should be. Okay. Okay, now it's a different story. I did not see the first. Okay now look at this beauty okay it's gorgeous it's gorgeous okay for some reason i thought that's a, a texture of the plastic and that's the name you see spring that's exactly what we have in here and because company don't have type of the cross stitch um the only i ask them to do they put uh, joy sunday 
to kind of separate them from different designs. But this one, I was spoke to one of the owners of the store. They don't even know what kind of cross stitch they have, and they don't know how to find which company that is. So I would really appreciate if store would put to these designs a spring brand because I really, really like them. And look at this first design. So uh, the other one, spring as well. So this is such a pretty canvas. Oh, I love everything about it. I love this um, envelopes for the storage of the cross stitch. Now, the design in here are so beautiful. It kinda, you know, remind me, um, I don't know, remind me maybe a little bit of home because of the sunflowers, but this is more probably like a Italy because of the, um, or maybe Holland of the, um, Oh, uh, yeah, 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 the purple flowers, uh, lavender. I think it's more maybe like a, um, like I say, Holland or Italy, where is lots of land of this beautiful lavender. So this is a super beautiful design, even like a sky alone. You can see those, look at those houses far, far away. So basically it's a farmer who grow all this gorgeousness. Look at that. Very, very pretty. Uh, this piece of paper in here, <clears throat> it's the same kind of, see like this square is already a little bit bigger. And that's what um, I was keep talking about the designs. If I can get back into my ladybugs if we can put together you can see on how much bigger this square and this square right so it's easy to read in here if you would work on a counted cross stitch but this cross stitch i believe is printed yes it is it's printed and we have they separated on a four pages this design which is nice this is nice i like spring brand now <clears throat> canvas looks like nice and soft we will see threads in a second because it's gorgeous very often uh you my friends ask me how to find spring design because i have them few review before and to be honest I don't know how to find them because even store don't know what exactly which design they thankfully they only separated uh, joy Sunday uh, that's already plus but I would love if they would have separated this canvases as well well this canvas feels so good uh, first of all it's very it's soft so it will be easy to work in hands if you like to work in hands also plus if you will put frame or a hoop it's easy to put inside of the hoop or the frame because canvas more flexible so it doesn't have uh, <clears throat> you know if canvas really really stiff it's really you need to struggle to put in a hoop it's really hard sometimes i use even my knee step on the top <laughs> to put the to cross stitch in, inside uh, but this one nice and soft uh, 11, I believe it's 11 count, Ada. Uh, okay, sorry, my camera already stopped. Uh, let's see. It says, okay, so 11 count, 65 by 45 centimeters. In stitches, it's 236 by 159. And the rest of in here, everything in Chinese language. Well, I think it's Chinese. Let's call it Asian language. I don't know if this is actually Chinese language, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, now, the threads and what kind of needles in here? What kind of needles in here? Oh, those needles are also good. Okay. 
love the needles. I think I will like these needles. Um, very similar to one that we have. It feels like maybe it's exactly the same. Now look at these colors in here. Isn't that amazing? Okay, there's the two palettes in here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me separate them so you can see each palette separate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These colors are so gorgeous for the lavender. And actually on the sky also they have those colors. You see how threads shiny? Well, that's what I'm saying. They go so nice on the canvas and the layers so beautiful. Um, and that's what I'm stitching right now. My canvas, uh, you know those uh, very, very bright sunflowers that uh, threads, oh my God, this one even more silky. It feels like it's even more silky. It's so nice to touch. Look at this for sunflowers in here, colors. Wow. You just want to pet and touch them. That is so beautiful. And then we have a few of the browns in here. This one kind of like unique color. And then here's some greenery for the sky. More pastels. Wow, so pretty. So how many I see in here? Lots of colors. I see 48 colors. Is it 48 or that's some kind of extra? Um, let's see what kind of stitches we have in here. Full stitch in 48 colors. Yes, that's a good amount of colors. And also we have in here back stitch in 310 and 801 TMC code. So two colors of the back stitch. 801 and that's 30, 30, what color is it? 30. What color? Oh, this one for the back stitch would be this brown and black. Whoa, so beautiful. This, oh, this one. Oh, I have to snap a picture of this one. Colors. Oh, this could be a good picture for the front of <laughs> my video that is so beautiful love those colors wow gorgeous now the canvas itself let me check sometimes could be print off off like off printed no this one printed beautiful right on a point on the square where you have to stitch wow that is nice you see that? You see how like right on uh, where you have to do X. Nothing is off center. Okay. Love, love, love. Spring. I love spring. I wish they distinguish which one of them is this brand so they can point it out. And I will say that they will have much more sales if people know this brand. Uh, yes. Love it design is gorgeous and one more I have one more that I order this is the pillow cushion that obviously I did not know that this is will become in a spring brand so when I opened my package I was like double surprised because I oh my goodness it, oh, this is completed pillow, I think. This is already completed. Look at this. They have a lace. Whoa. Oh my God. Okay, let's see colors first because this is just, it's just too good. Wow. Colors, amazing. Not too many because it's a not very big uh, design. You can see the some of them just uh, one string of the colors but look at the shades of the greens and pinks really will make a beautiful shading so let's see the design and a little bit more about full stitch only that's it no backstitch no special stitching just a full stitch so it's a very very easy design in 22 colors 
22 colors and where is the design itself right in here look at the gorgeous design and lace i love the lace to be honest when i look on this design on a website i thought that this lace is just a person who designed this pillow just added lace later i did not know that actually we will have this on actual design so that's a double surprise spring and the ready pillow uh, the only thing will be now important to know if this pillow can be open to stitch otherwise it will be hard to stitch if it's all sewed together finger cross finger cross finger cross any zipper to open uh, <laughs> it's not oh that is such a disappointment um, okay maybe just maybe well how you see okay gorgeous fabric look at that beautiful like an eggshell very light soft yellow color with this beautiful swirls uh stitched really nice done stitching in here the zipper in here is hiding plastic zipper let's see work work well but now to stitch how are you gonna stitch when it's already sewed together um <laughs> How are you gonna stitch? Okay, you can put this in a frame, but then, okay, I'm stitching, I'm holding one in here hand, and where I'm gonna try to put my needle through, you know, this is not comfortable. I wish they would design a little bit different. Oh, I was so happy, and now I was like, oh, I have to stitch now. This is going to be a little bit tricky, obviously, to stitch, my friends. Everything was wonderful till I saw that it's all stitched. Uh, I already did my recommenda recommendation before to the company because I did review a um, few months back pillow cushions like this and they were also designed um, and all stitched. And when I contacted, I think that was company, maybe I contacted DIY Choose or somebody and I asked to um, please because many of the stores have a same supplier um, and I told them to go ahead to the head office tell them my recommendation not to stitch back in all the way and they promised me they will do like stitch them all together but the sides will be open with the zipper so you can actually open this back in fabric stitch and then you zip back that way i like idea uh, because that way would be a connected zipper you know or here or just just if they could make it like a one and two even opening or even on the three sides opening so you can pull this back in and zip it later that would be a little bit more zippers going on but um <laughs> now it's going to be more complicated to work on it if really you will have to kind of pull the back in away yes uh hopefully company will, will listen to my recommendation uh when i will send them link to my uh, video I will really will ask them to uh, listen to my video about this pillowcase because it need to be a little bit something changed because it's hard to stitch when you have a fabric already on the back uh, and that's the only way. So I hope you like this video today. I still really really love it. I love the design and I will try to work somehow. Maybe I will find a way how to work easy way with that backing because I don't really want to 
unstitched again so we'll see well thank you so much everybody for watching this video i think every project is really really beautiful in here uh only thing magnet crack uh don't like that i need a little bit stronger magnet and not to stitch back into the pillow maybe include in the kit but not to stitch so if you can contact the company who create them that would be wonderful thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow in my next video